Hey everyone, in today's video, what I wanna do is I wanna look at different AI tools and I wanna use the same prompts to generate different results with these AI tools, right? To kind of see the differences in terms of design, aesthetics, functionality, and so on. And at the end of the video, I would love for you to comment which results you like the most and which tool you like to use the most. Also, by the way, my name is Lucas and I have a Discord community, a free Discord community that you can join. The link is in the description below where we do basically you know, live calls every single weekday. We're a bunch of different startup owners, developers, designers, very interesting people from all around the world. So if you're interested in joining that and meeting us and talking to us about different topics, different tools, feel free to join the Discord community. Like I said, the link is down in the description below. All right, now the different tools that I'm gonna be looking at today, there's actually seven different tools, right? Three of them are more towards design, I would say. Uh, and those three are UX Pilot, as you can see right here. We have Figma Make, which I honestly have never tried before. So we're gonna try it out today for the first time together. And we have Magic Path, right? Magic Path, I've used a bunch. I'm a big fan of this tool because of the great design that it provides. It has a very rich community when it comes to like weekly design challenges, hackathons, and it's overall a very, very talented team behind this tool. Then we have Lovable, which I've used a lot in the past in the other videos. I still use it to this day to kind of, you know, live code some different things uh, with my community. We have Bolt.new that just finished off their, their hackathon. It kind of got a lot of critics uh, for that hackathon in terms of the types of apps it produced, but Anyways, it's it's kind of like one of the top contenders that I know of when it comes to these vibe coding tools. So we're gonna try it out. So we're gonna be trying Replit and we're also gonna be trying out V0 by Vercel or Versal. All right, and now what I'm doing is I'm asking ChatGPT to create a prompt for me to you know add to these different tools, right? It says create a minimalistic and user-friendly mobile app interface designed for a habit tracking application. Incorporate clean layouts subtle shadows, soft gradients, and intuitive navigation elements to ensure a cohesive and modern, as modern aesthetic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask it, I'm, I'm gonna make it a little bit more specific. I think that the notes or habit tracking was a little bit too vague. I want it to be more for like, you know, new parents, for example, to track feeding schedules, sleep patterns, and diaper changes. So let's use this, let's use this prompt and let's give it to all of the different tools. So over here in UX Pilot, I'm gonna put like parenting app, and we're gonna add the prompt over here, click on create, and I'm gonna click on hi-fi designs, standard model, we want a mobile app, right? We wanna add this here, and then we wanna click on yes for deep design. And let's click on the auto flow because it basically creates like, you know, an automatic flow of different pages, but we just need this first one, click on generate, and then go to, let's go to uh, Figma make, right? In Figma make, let's just, paste this in here, and then we're gonna have to resend this in here. I don't know why it does that, that you have to kind of resend. And while this is thinking and reasoning and creating whatever, let's go into magic path and let's double click here and let's just paste the prompt over here on the right side, click on submit, do the same thing for lovable, do the same thing for bolt, replit as well, and for V0. All right, so for now we got the results so we can go check them out. So for the UX pilot, we get this one, we get these, you know, soft pastel colors, but we get these weird gradients at the top. We get baby tracker, good morning, Sarah. It shows the picture of Sarah. So I don't know if that's something that we really wanna add. Maybe it's a picture of the mom or the picture of the baby. I don't know what it's intended to do, but anyways, we have this like starting starting point. I don't really like how it has like these, you know, radial corners over here. And it's kind of like really close to these three th things. I think I think that these three like little categories look good because it gives you like a like a good overview. I think this should be way less prominent, much, you know, more you know, minimal in a way, maybe a white background or something like that. Maybe very, very short, like like up to here. And then we have track activity, feeding, sleep, diaper. So we have like these three call to actions to kind of add something really quick. We have today's summary, um, you know, feeding six, total sleep 4.5, eight diapers. So this is good. You know, you can always like track your summary and it looks like this. And overall, it looks like this. You can't really interact with anything. It's that's the that's what I don't really like about UX Pilot is that you can't really click unless you preview it in a new tab. So you have to like kind of do like an extra step for that. But we have stats, calendar settings, and we have this main 
um, home, uh, you know, home or starting page, right? And then let's go into Figma. So Figma Make, Figma Make gave us this. It looks a little bit better. It does look kind of simple. We have feeding, sleep, diaper, and we get things that we can add, which is great. So we can add new sleep, we can add new diaper. This is great that it's very interactive, but it is kind of simple in a way. And if I wanted to, you know, edit some certain things, I guess I could click on here and adjust some things. I can adjust the spacing, for example, which is pretty nice. In terms of design, it is quite limiting, even though it's, it's Figma. You could ask for changes or you could, you know, eventually just fix a few of these things. Anyways, on to the next one, which is from Magic Path. And basically Magic Path gave us this, which, you know, basically has this top part which is very similar to what UX Pilot gave us, but in a very minimal state. We also have like this little button down here, which is like the activities log. We have this insights over here. So these are like quick action buttons up here. We have quick actions, feed, sleep, or diaper and feed. You can, you know, feed breastfeed, bottle feed, solid feed. For sleep, we also get different options. So it's a little bit smarter in that way. And then down here, we can get the option to, you know, do a quick action. So whatever page you're on, you can just click here and add a new sleep action, for example. And similar to what Figma Make has, right, you can basically click anywhere and kind of change a few things, but you have much bigger, you know, larger overview of things that you can change. You can not only change the margin, you can also change the padding, and it's a very nice view. You can add flex mode, or a flex, you can, you know, adjust the space in between, you can just adjust the space in the center, and all of these things don't require any, you know, additional charge when it comes to prompting because usually with these ai tools you get charged via or, or you get charged with a prompt but when you do these manual changes you don't get charged anything so we can just click on save and then we get lovable lovable actually did a great job with, with in terms of the colors and this is lovable's result it does look pretty nice it has like a nice more of a you know pastel color to it it does have a very similar structure when it comes to uh, in comparison in comparison to magic path but i i prefer magic paths uh, structure when it comes to this top area where you can see the you can see the date you can ha you have these quick actions also we have these quick actions over here which if you you know click on them you get actually a command that pops up over here if I just click on feed it says feeding log successfully recorded so not really anything um, that you can adjust or mention what type of feeding you want to do you'd have to kind of prompt that again also we don't really get an insights page get recent activity, but there's no like navigation, which which is kind of missing. And now this is Bolt. I really like Bolt's top section over here. Feeds today, our, our sleep, diapers changes. It's, a, it's like a nice, good overview. We also have these quick actions. If I just click on one, nothing seems to happen. So this isn't like, it's similar to Lovable where nothing really happens when you click on the quick actions. We can click on this button. So not nothing really happens when I click on these buttons, but you kind of get the overall picture. So we have home, we have feeding. You can start the feeding bottle or breastfeeding. It does look a little bit more complicated than the previous designs, to be very honest with you. But we have feeding, sleep, diaper, and profile. So I guess, yeah, here you can log everything, right? You have different types of feeding, different types of sleeps, and different types of diapers, but they all have like a different type of design layout. As you can see, these are, you know, with a border, you know, like, like an outline border. And the other one over here is just like a solid gradient. This one is a little bit different. So it, that's kind of confusing at first, but yeah, this is what Bolt built. And going into Replit, we get something like this. It's a nice minimal design. These other buttons don't really work, but we get something very similar when it comes to logging these different actions, similar to the Magic Path, right? Which I really like where you can just click on this and a thing pops up from the bottom and you can just describe what you're doing. and and then just log it into your insights, right? And then we have the stats and settings, they don't work, but eventually you can just prompt Replit to, to build that. And then the final version, this is from V0, quite similar to Magic Path, but not so advanced. We have this plus button, nothing really happens. We have these recent activities. We have feed, sleep, diaper, nothing really happens. You'd have, you'd have to kind of describe that to the AI but we get this this view, right? Now I'm inside of Dribble, and I really like this design style. I like the, the, the like the sharp edges. I like this, you know, little border over here where it's kind of like not all the way filled up to the border, but it has like a little bit of a, of a margin, right? So I wanna kind of bring this design style into these different creations. So let's go ahead and save this image. 
and we're going to use it as a design reference for all of these different tools. So for UX Pilot, I'm just going to click on this home page dashboard. I'm going to go to global edit and add this image. I'm going to say redesign the app using this image reference. Click on generate. Same with Figma Make. We're going to go upload image and I'm going to paste the same thing that I got from UX Pilot. Click on submit and inside of Magic Path, I'm going to do the very same thing and I'm going to paste this. Right. Click on submit. All right. So for the first tool, UX Pilot, I get this. Uh, morning, Milo, your child's fifth birthday is incoming, your friend, parents, upcoming events, your child progress. So I guess it uses the same type of, yeah, it's using like the same type of context from here, but it's not really taking that context from the previous prompt, right? We want it to be like more of a parenting app to kind of track your progress, track your habits as a parent, as a new parent. In terms of like taking the design style, it did a pretty good job. I'm not perfect though. I guess it's, it hasn't really done like these sharp edges. I guess that's like the only thing. And plus we have like this weird little section down here, but I guess with this little pen tool, you can go ahead and adjust certain sections like this. You can, well, you can prompt it to, to change certain sections. You can't really, you know, manually adjust it, uh, like can in magic path. Now inside of Figma make, we get this. How about we connect you with the right things to grow your baby? Let's get started. So very similar to UX Pilot, it does get like the same type of design style, very similar. Again, it's a little bit different, rounded, um, it kind of changed it a bit. And it uses the same type of context as this reference images and not as the previous prompt that we gave it. All right, and in Magic Path, we get something like this, right? With these sharp edges um, and the corners, we don't have any round radiuses. It did change the color a little bit. It added this black button down here. I, I, pretty, I, I like it. And it basically apply this whole new kind of like sharp style to this design. Over at Lovable, it basically did this, right? We have these like placeholders for images, but again, it changed the whole context of the of the app. So for now, only Magic Path is basically providing that, you know, habits for new parents topic because everyone else is changing to this one. Your friend parents, right? Upcoming events, we don't really need that. I did add the image to bolt and it literally changed nothing. So that's pretty interesting. And in Replit, we did get some types of changes, but again, it was not really anything drastic at all. I think it just changed like some of the colors. And in Vizier, we get this. How about we connect you with the right things to grow your baby, get started. And it's basically like, it did a good job copying the, like the whole style, but again, it didn't do a good job with maintaining that context. And I think only Magic Path was the one that actually stayed with that context of that app that we wanted to build for new parents and change the, change the design to match kind of that dribble app. All right, now we, we're gonna ask it for a new prompt. It's gonna be a little bit more of a detailed, longer prompt. So we're gonna ask it to create the, mo the mobile app interface um, with the kind of like the same functions as before, but now we're gonna integrate a community feature where parents can securely connect share updates and exchange advice in real time. And apart from that, we're also gonna, you know, add that uh, design vision that we wanna give it. And we wanna ensure that the app offers customizable notifications, advanced filtering options for data analysis and quick access navigation for one-handed operation. So let's let's go ahead and create that in all of these different tools. So over here, I'm just gonna move to the side and add this new context over here and create an auto flow. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and click on generate to all of these. Inside of Figma Make, I'm just gonna paste this again. Oh, and we see maximum 500 characters. So let's go ahead and remove these visual things that maybe that's enough, still not enough. And so that's kind of a, a negative aspect that Figma Make has, but let's go ahead and just submit this. And then going into Magic Path, I'm just gonna move to the right because this is an infinite canvas tool, which is amazing about this. And let's go ahead and paste this in here, click on submit, and I'm gonna do it with Lovable and with the rest of them. All right, so now for UX Pilot, we get this, we get all these different screens. As you can see, you know, straight from just looking at this, you can see that this is all like, you know, pretty AI generated, it has the same type of problem as before with this gradient and with now it has this white text that I can't even read, but it's pretty cool that you can get like this, you know, good overview of different screens that it's generated. But again, I'm not a big fan of this. Also like these little left borders, I see them a lot in like AI generated tools. I think in one of them, maybe Bolt, it has them as well. We're gonna see shortly. Figma make, we get this, good morning. Pretty, pretty empty feed. 
you know, very, very empty and very simple, nothing special. We get our community over here. And now in Magic Path, we basically get this. We get um, our home, we get tracking, we get community. We get this really nice, uh, you know, little graph over here with different sleep trends, feeding frequencies. Communities looks very nice. It looks kind of like a social media feed. We also have this chat interface where we can chat with Sarah. Very, very smartly designed. With Lovable, we get this very, very simple. Um, we get these numbers next to these. Looks very AI generated. I can't really click on the other pages, unfortunately. I can't click on this plus button. I can't, I can't really click on anything. We just get this one standard design. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of it. In Bolt, we get this. Here in Bolt, we can actually click through the different you know, tabs, which is pretty cool. We get our community tab where we talk about different things. This looks kind of strange at the top, but it's a pretty good idea if you were to just resize these, basically like filtering out the different conversations. Replit looks pretty cool, actually. We get this, Emma Rose, eight months, zero weeks. We have different analytics, different growth, community. So once we, as you can see with, with these like full stack AI tools, right? UX Pilot, Figma Make, Magic Path, they're only design tools. But once you go to these, these tools like Lovable, Bolt, Replit, V0, once you add more things to the prompt, you're gonna get more pages. Obviously, it was weird with Lovable because Lovable, they didn't, um, they just had one view, which was pretty strange. But here in Replit, you can see we have different pages. We have the profile, community, growth, anal analytics, homepage. Only thing I think is missing is like some main call to action, like a plus button. So we can just click on plus and add something to one of these tabs. And then the last thing here is with V0. Let me just zoom out a little bit. With V0, we have, it's an okay looking, very, you know, this it looks looks very AI generated, I would say. Um, if I click on this plus button, nothing happens. If I click on community, you can see that we have our community tab. We can create a post, but it doesn't really work. Um, insights, we get this, very, very basic. I would really say that Replit and Magic Path provided the best designs here. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it from my side. Hope you all enjoyed the video today. If you have any favorites of what types of design you like most, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love to know your, you know, your opinions. And again, feel free to join my Discord community. It's for free. Link is down in the description below. And yeah, guys, let me know what I should talk about next time. I'm very curious to see what types of topics you guys are into. And apart from that, hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.